stall. Oh yeah. Because so you don't, you know, he makes everything clear. That's right. Right. This means that. This. This. These are the only ten categories. Uh, you have to get species, gender, and differentiate. Okay. He's a biologist. He takes those terms and he applies them wherever he goes. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, was there a lady, a new lady, who showed up? I don't know. Oh, okay. Beverly was her name. She wanted to come. Oh, yeah. She uh, wanted to present her dreams. Josh's oh. candidate. Yeah, no, sure. it was a new new woman, older woman. Oh, okay. older woman. No, I saw a younger woman. Yeah. No, Josh, uh, Beverly. Was Those were Josh's yeah. students. Those young people. Yeah. Ah, 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 you're a gentleman. <coughs> Can you go here? That's okay. I can even reach. I make a hobbin to Schleben. Look at this. Those are vitamin balls. They contain many multivitamins and amino acids. Also called alternative health foods. Yeah. No. Right up there with all facts. Exactly. <laughs> well, these are all foods. Oh. Oh, watch so I think we've. Uh, so David said he wanted to do a dream. Good. I have a dream, too, but I, I have a dream as well. I didn't get mine written down. In fact, I'm, I might go do it right now. Mm, good idea. And uh, take well, about 20 minutes. You yeah. guys can go ahead and do a dream. Or, Bill, uh, Bill has one, and I have one. Oh, well, Tara, what is your pleasure? What, what did you come loaded with today? Did you bring your. What have you been reflecting on? I brought my bag, but not the, the tablets. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. So, it's your call. There's some good dreams out. Well, my principle is you can always blame Nancy. Hmm. But she's not here. That's even better. Oh. <laughs> That's me. That's me. Hey, a gentleman. Look. A good one. Uh, yeah, you have to get him just right, otherwise it's weird. Great for well, your regularity too. Mm -hmm. uh, regularity in studying philosophy? <laughs> or what? Yes. Everything? Yeah. Wow, I can't wait. I'm trying one. My um, <laughs> my sister-in-law grows them. Super high she has them. Yeah. She has a whole bunch of them in her garden. I know you're curious. I can yeah. tell. You. You're absolutely right. Mango, mango. No, oh. papaya. Papaya. Oh, papaya. Mexican papaya. papaya. Mexican papaya. What? Not Hawaii. I'll make you more regular in your writing. They probably are grown in California. I think they're like the only fruit without the uh, acidity. No. Oh. Which is bad for your teeth. What? Acidity? Hmm. Yeah, like the oranges will destroy your teeth. Destroy your what? Teeth. If you eat a lot of them. Yeah, oh. Yeah. Just in case you're looking for a little... Yeah. And your bones. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you, yes. Where's your drink? Mm. Mine's right here. Rhonda, that's wonderful. Why don't we do some work? I thought that was tank. And Bill's is right there. Right? Yeah. This is short and mine's Bill's. long. You got one, too? Yes. Good. Rhonda? Mm. I, I had them. I'm going to move this one. Oh, as well as David. Is that right? Right. Good. Good. I think we're going to some kind of a demonstration. Uh -huh. Yes, the shout It might happen about four or five days ago, but it's wow. been oh, the whole time. That's great. Four or five days. Okay, let me show you. Here's a notepad if you want. <laughs> Better yet? Look at that. Yeah. Sure, sure. I should no, put it that way. No, he's a banker. That's, that's the mark. Oh, so ah, is it your dream, Bill? Oh. How about putting some in the opposite direction? Where's yours? <laughs> Which one is yours? One of them, there are two pages, most of them are one page. Thank you. There you go. Julia, you know what Jeff and I got from KPFK as a gift? 
we got this whole 60 years worth of readings or something. Oh, is it? Uh, War and Peace is on here. Nation 84 is on here. And that one uh -huh. little thing. So you can like listen to it as you're driving. And if anybody wants a copy. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. How much do I pay? Well, I don't know. I, I don't think much, but okay. Anybody else want it? What, what is that? I do, but I'll, pick it, I'll get it from you. Yeah, you'll get it from you. <laughs> yeah. Is that? there any Greek readings? Okay. It's a gift you get from KPFK for making a donation. It's a 60 years worth of... Their programs, their like reading of War and Peace in 1984, and oh. a bunch of different stuff. <coughs> oh, nice. I heard it's 1984 was a popular uh, book these oh, days. Nineteen people are people are buying them. Seventy-five thousand. Really? Said, yep. Last week. Oh. Nineteen eighty. Well, people are starting to read. So it. no more copies. <laughs> Is Dave making copies? It's crazy. Oh, okay. Well, that's wait, for you, Zelda. Oh, oh already? You guys can share it? Yeah, is there any extra copy of what's being? Yeah, share it. Here you go. Pass these around. Is that yours? Those are the I can read on with you, though. Sure. How about you take it? <laughs> that would have been good in the opposite way, but it worked out. Yeah. Right? was used to being the student. Oh, the whatever. Teacher. I'm sorry, is there a copy of the dream that's being read right now? Oh, yeah. You can hear you as well. Oh, yeah. I want to try the other one of these, which is this one. Souffles from Panera. What? I'm sorry. Okay. Mm. mistakes. Yeah, uh, what do you make of that interesting dream, Regina? Is this yours? Oh, mine? Oh, sorry. Yeah, mine was uh, about three pages, so I had to pull, okay. it, okay. pull it down. 
This is 128 I have. Yes, today. Okay. Last night. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it was the, the shorter one. There's some corrections I, I see in reading. But as I read it, I was at, should I read it out loud? Yes, please. What do I make of it? Yeah. Um, uh, I would like to hear you read it aloud. I was at this house. It was my house, sort of. There are things in it that were mine, and yet it appeared different than mine. The people staying there were leaving, but they didn't tell me they were leaving. I walked in, and there, and there are many relatives who came to help them move. I recognized one person and went to hug him, but he wouldn't let me. <coughs> he would pull back when I went to hug. Uh, all their relatives, uh, that's just something I, it doesn't matter. So I went to another part. I realized that these people had many kinds of animals with them, cats, dogs, squirrels, lizards, pigs, and other animals. They had opened the patio gates and all the animals ran out. I suddenly thought of Esos and Sebastian and they likely went out as well. I couldn't find them, but I thought that they would be close by because these other animals would be around. These people just were leaving and didn't tell me. They took everything that was theirs, that should be theirs, not there, and left what was there. The house itself was old and lots of built-ins. I liked it because there were places to put things without thought. Near the end, I was looking for Esos and Sebastian. I wanted to put them back in the house. I saw all these animals going down the street. I asked some of the relatives if I could take all these animals into the house so that Esos and Sebastian would go in. But the younger kids complained, no, no, don't send them in. I had this thought that Sebastian was in the house, but Esos I wasn't sure about. I wanted to make sure they were okay. I wasn't sure. While I had been looking at the house, there was a little place, a little combination like jewelry box that looked like a stove or was stove light and I noticed that the burners were, weren't there. I thought my aunt may have taken them. They weren't mine, but that was the only thing that I noticed was missing. Next dream. Uh, yeah, please, please. Stop. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, what do you make of that? By that, is there some theme that appears to run through the whole? Uh, that I've lost something. That, uh, well, I've lost some, I, uh, <coughs> that there's something I, that isn't around, or I'm worried that they're not around. I have a lot of thinking about whether they're safe or not, but I'm not sure because they're not there. Uh, the same thing about the people. They're not there either. They're leaving. Seems like... Find anything curious about the, uh, the dream? Yes, I was very uh, saddened. I was sad throughout the whole dream. Uh, because uh, the, the people were leaving without telling me the cats and dogs let my other, uh, the people came, let my animals out, didn't ask me to, didn't talk to me at all, really. And so I had to go through to try to recover all this stuff, to make sure that things were okay. I wasn't, it wasn't a happy dream. And also the jewelry lock box, the kind of stove-like thing. Um, it was like everything was there except the burners. And I kept thinking, well, so, um, okay. How were you functioning on that dream? I'm not. I'm just watching oh. what's going on. Oh. I don't, I mean, I'm trying, I don't. Good, okay. That's a theme, so. Oh, okay. Right. You see another one there? Uh.
Uh, do you see any particular problem in the dream that no you'd problem. call problematic or anything like that? Here. Just uh, my cats. I, 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 want, I didn't know where they were and I was concerned about them. And that the stove burners weren't there. If the stove burners had been there, that would have completed the move. They could have left every, you know, they could have left. So, uh, you're going for particulars in the dream. Oh, okay. Are you not? Yes. Yeah, that's interesting. But uh, you're not going to get the answer to my question by doing that. Okay. Right? Not that you're not quoting good spots. All right. The Say problem what? in the dream uh, was sort of my house. Uh, people saying they were leaving, but they didn't tell me. Uh, Say, I didn't say anything. Say, uh, is it your house? Wasn't sure. Uh, it was according like, to the dream, is it your house? Well, it was my house, sort of. There were things in it that I knew were mine, and yet it appeared different than mine. Second sentence. How do you dream? The people staying there were leaving. <clears throat> Second <coughs> sentence, please. It was my house, sort of. Thank you. <coughs> oh, excuse me. In terms of the dream, is it your house? Sort of. Not like... I, I say sort of because it, well, I guess if you if the people were leaving my house, yeah, 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 yeah. But it didn't look like my house. Yeah, the, what do you find curious about that? The things that were there, uh, yet it appeared different than mine. Well, they had built-ins and um, there oh. were a lot, there, the stove and jewelry box was... So if it's your like, house, uh, are you in charge? Uh, I should be. Oh, that's true. Is there any evidence that maybe you're not? Yeah, I'm not. Uh, give me some. Uh, well, uh, they didn't tell me they were leaving. I didn't address One. that. One. Go ahead. Uh, I walked in and there were many relatives. Well, I just said, okay, this, these people are leaving. Uh, they're taking stuff out. Let them go, I guess. Um didn't address the person that I tried to hug. Oh. Uh, wait a minute. It's your house. Yeah, it was like it wasn't now my this house. Per pardon me. In terms of the, the statements in the dream, is it your house? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. And what, the first person you encounter, he re rejects your... Hugging? Yeah, just a, just a casual, just a hug to hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, and you are in that sense. Are you in charge? No. Why not? <laughs> uh, what in the dream? What leads you to that conclusion? Well, I don't. Uh, I allow all these relatives to just suddenly walk in and take everything without being clear with the people who were leaving, uh, the person who I was trying to hug kept pulling back and I never addressed <laughs> that. I didn't say, hey, what are you pulling back for? But I never said anything. Yeah. Uh, there's some remark about younger children. Uh, but the younger complain, no, no, don't send them in. Who's in charge? Uh, they are. Mm. What's the thing? The younger children are in charge. Who isn't? A me. Yeah. And I ask someone right. else. And, and they? It's like... Yes, it was like almost like I was... That's interesting. Um, afraid to ask them. Yeah, yeah. Where do you see that most particularly in the dream? Um, when uh, I saw all the animals going down the street, because I knew that they were 
going away from the house, and so that meant that Esos and Sebastian would likely follow them if they were outside. That didn't answer the question. So I was afraid ah, good. at that point good. that the animals, and so I asked some of them if yeah. I could take all these animals into the okay. house. Okay, you got a nice place for fear, don't you? Yeah, because I was worried that they would say no, yeah. like the kids. So you have two states of mind so far being rebuked. Yeah, like they were going right. to so that's the second me. state of mind, is it not? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. What's it like watching, right? It's your house. <coughs> Now this is going on. Well, it's like I couldn't do anything about it. What's that like? In the dream, what's that like? Um, there was nothing I could do to stop whatever was going on. Uh, did you make any attempt to stop? I just. I immediately said to my, it was like a thought that there was no way I could do anything. All these people came in. I couldn't stop the people from leaving, and these people were helping them move. What could I do? I just had to accept the fact that that's what was going on. What's, what's that like? I have to accept what's going on under these conditions? Um, Oh, the other part that I was scared about was they had opened the gates. Yeah. That was really, the, probably just as frightening. Yeah. Because uh, that meant they didn't ask, they didn't say anything, they just opened the doors. Uh, well, therefore, what kind of people are you dealing with? People who... Um, In the dream. Tyrants or, or, or bullies <coughs> or uh, well, those are pretty good titles. Hey, they're pretty good titles. Um, but they seem to. It, it's almost like a tyrant would be somebody who would tell you what to do. But these people are governing without any respect or, or not or recognition. That's right. No recognition yeah. to the house where they lived, who it was. <coughs> yeah, no but since you don't oppose them, we don't have any issue of counterattack. No. I, do, I don't feel I can. Like they, they seem to have the right to leave. And I, I just, but the issue of opening the patio gates was not a right. They. It, I see. So they came in and they just took over. That's right. The right to move right. gave them the right to do what they did. Right, 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 right. Therefore, what state of mind did that put you in? Now, you've used several good expressions so far, okay? Well, I, I, I looked at the fact that they had a right, but, I, but they don't have a right the way they did it. That part, I didn't make that distinction. Yeah. Yeah. And that's I gave up. But I didn't Under that circumstance you gave up. Yeah, because I saw well they do have a right to leave. I can't stop them. But at the same time the way they did it um, I accepted. That's interesting. Mhm. Mm yeah, what do you find about it? I wish I could relate it to something. But I don't, uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> is, is that the use of the word function that we sometimes use? That how they're functioning? Yeah. 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 And that has an effect on you? That's when you give up. 
Yeah, when they... In the face of that, you see they have some right, but they're ex going beyond that right. Right. And given that circumstance, you're finish it. Helpless. I'm, yeah. Uh, or uh, yeah. frozen. I'm. I'm not. I'm. I can't. I can't mentally move. Yeah. I accept it. No. The whole thing in that dream depends upon you holding on to that great statement you made, right? The distinction. Remember the distinction? Yeah, that they were leaving, but it didn't have to be the way they did it. Uh, that's true. You said, because they had a right to leave, right? And at the same time, the way in which they did it, you found it offensive. Right being put in that situation. Right. You. Didn't, I didn't stop them. Yeah, you become helpless and you accept what's going on. Right. C can you put it in a popular sense? Right, it immobilizes you, mm -hmm. given that circumstance. Yeah, that's a good word, immobilizes. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, just because they have a right to do that. The way they do it immobilizes me. Right, to say anything right, about it. right, right. Huh. Yeah, it's very strong. Um, yeah. And I can't do anything about it. Given that circumstance. That's right. Right. Yep, it, 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 and it endangers other things I love too. Right, right. Wow, that's weird. That's an interesting state of mind to discover. Uh, yeah, but I don't have, I, it's very, very elusive. No, uh, no, it's not. You said it very well a moment ago. I said it, but every time I get close to holding on to that second part, like I got the right part. Yeah. These people have a right to leave. But to say that what they're, the way they're doing it is not right is elusive. Like it's okay for what they're doing, the way they did it. I don't say anything. That's weird. Yeah. I mean, they brought all their animals in. <laughs> Everything. It was like they moved in, moving out. <laughs> yeah, let's go back to that state of mind. What's that like? You realize they have a right to do this, but yeah, the way in which they're functioning screws things up, so I can't say anything. Mm. Is that familiar to you? Yeah, it is, but I can't, I can't, uh, it is for them. Oh. The people staying there were leaving. Yep, they have a right to do. I know it goes, I, I yes, it. I know that it goes. Oh, yeah, it's the, it, the effect is immobilizing, isn't it? It's almost like, yeah. Right. It's almost like that somebody is mm. they're right in what they're doing. It's no. just the no, way no. they're doing it. No, no, it. they're not right in what they're doing. Yeah, they, they are. They to have leave. the right to do what they are doing. Yeah, they have the right to leave. But the way they are doing it. Right. Yep, it's not right. Right, right. And the effect it has on you. It immobilizes me, I can't fight them. Or I don't, I, you know, it's, it's not even a thought to. It's like if I do, then they will say, well, we're leaving. What's wrong with that? I don't have any thought about how to address 
all the injustices I see after that. Of course. Yeah. Shay, get back to that state again. Again. Uh, they have a right to leave, or they have they they have a right to do what they're doing. And at the same time, the way they're doing whatever it is they're doing. Go ahead. Come on. Is is not the not right. And the effect it has on you. It just numbs me. Numbs me. No. I, I, uh, I'm, this, this, I don't know if this, it doesn't look, I mean, I've talked about it before, but I'm not sure, but it's like my mother, no, it's just something else, could be, um, I was just thinking when I stuck my tongue out at my mother, but she had a right to, to get angry with me because I did something wrong. But how she punished me was not right. I mean, she didn't correct it. She didn't do anything. But that, I don't know. It seems oh, otherwise. So does that go through your whole life with her? Mm. Like, are there other scenes you might say is similar? but yet so elusive. So, let me ask you a question. Um, is it possible that um, that's your mother's advice? Like, would she ever say uh, something about your father is okay, but you may object to the way in which he functions? Like, does he have a right to uh, teach you math? And yet the way he's doing it does what to you? Well, I can't say anything back to him. I can't. Well, if I, if I disagree or challenge him, he'll get upset. And what I end up doing is end up watching TV while he's figuring out the problems because of that. How is that similar? No, yeah. Oh, it know. is. Hmm. And why is it coming back now? Hmm. Yeah. hmm? Um. Then someone is taking the place, as it were, of your father, and you're reacting in a similar way with him. If analogies play any role in this. Yeah. So when did you experience that state of mind? <coughs> On the 27th. Yesterday? Um. the next time we met. But I felt like I had I couldn't say anything during that time because there were a lot of people making points and seeing and talking about things. 
I don't know if that fits later well, on in the afternoon. Um, <coughs> I well, I don't know. I just finished. I, I I went uh, to uh, uh, an architectural walkthrough for the HOA and. There were just some things that, you know, they were right in what they were. I mean, like some of the some of the things they were saying were okay, were right, but I get they just didn't. They wanted they they just wanted to make sure everything was consistent, and there was nothing wrong with some of the things that people had done. It just didn't meet their codes. I don't know. So I didn't have anything to say about it. I just said, well, okay, what, what can you say? It doesn't meet their codes. So they need, they, they're they going to send letters to these people <coughs> and say they have to remove stuff. Like, like I have a motion light in my patio, but the reason I put it in was because the initial light that was there was blown out by power washing so I replaced it but at the time I was told that it, we could do what we needed to do in the patio ourselves so I was repairing it myself but now they're coming back and saying nope I just don't know it just seems like a I, I don't know if that fits See, the thing you want to look at is whether or not in, in being silent, whether in that sense you accept what's going on well, and yeah. as a consequence feel helpless. Those are the two states. Oh, I forgot. There was something else. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I came home. I have somebody who is doing some drain work and what I saw was being done, I didn't understand. I knew it was right to do, but the way it was being done didn't make any sense and it seemed like it was even bad to do it that way. But the person wasn't there. I have to talk to him about it. But that's that similar. Yeah, yeah. That's similar. Here, can I offer? No. Um, I do know that I was really tired last night, and I went to sleep, and that was that was okay for me. Let's go back to the guy who joined the ditch. Oh yeah. Yeah. There yeah. you were, come on, there you were. You're looking at what's going what has been going on. Go right. On. And I'm puzzled by why he would put the drains where he's putting them. They seem to be not being aware that that would be a path or that there will be a a problem in the if 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 I wanted to dig up stuff it was like <coughs> not done the, the in I'm not understanding how he's doing it it's in the way or it's out in the open no. it's not against the wall where right. I would put it yeah yeah so it would fit like the way it's functioning doesn't make any sense to me but oh. he's not there and I'm not asking him now, what did it do to you when you were looking at it and seeing it come on well, I thought I was hopeless because it had been done. A lot of it had been cemented in. So I, could, I couldn't say anything. Like, what can I say? Uh, I'm sorry that I don't want it that way. I, that's the same thing. I don't want you to guys to leave this way. If you're going to leave, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Right? Interesting. Yeah. That keeps you from finishing it. 
well, confronting what, what somebody has done yeah. or the steps that they've taken. And I can't say that what they've done needs correction or needs improvement. Uh, if you did, what kind of a person would you be? Oh, I, I know too. This also functioned with the flyer at work. Um, I'm working on a flyer to send out to people and I okayed one section and the woman came back and she did something that I didn't ask her to do. I mean, it, everything was okay except what I, there were certain parts that just didn't make any sense. So I'm confronted with the fact that I have to go and mm -hmm. address her and correct her. Just I don't like doing that. Wait a minute, and saying what you want. And saying what I <clears> want, <throat> I cannot do that. There it is. No. Right. What does that do to you right now? I don't know. It just tears <clears throat> me up. Like I want to do this way. Mm. Yeah. Well, that may not be right. How do I know it's right? That's what I get into. Like, I'm not sure if what I want is right. No. So? And that's that helpless. So I'm not, you know, I have to go along with, hey, maybe because they're right, they're right. Or that I know they're right, they're leaving, I can't stop them. But I can't tell them what I want. Yeah, uh, uh, because... I'm not sure with what, whether what I want is right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it deprives you of your own judgment. Right. <clears throat> it undercut it undercuts your judgment. Right. And what you might do. Uh, Immobilize the same idea. Well, that they're going to get upset, <clears throat> or they're not going to understand, or they're going to come up with a whole bunch of excuses of why, and I won't have any arguments. I won't know why. They're not right in the way they're doing it. So it won't matter. <laughs> Just stop. Leave it alone. Go back to the math scenes. So you have to give up what you see. Well, yeah, that would happen in math. Yeah. Like if I saw my dad doing something, I wouldn't confront him because if I did, he'd get upset. Yeah, same thing then. Or similar, right? Or I'd like to have this done, Dad. Would you help me over here? No, I'm going to do this first. He was a good teacher, right? No. He wants to do what he wants to do. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> but not what you want. I and don't you're know the, if what and I you're want. you're the student. Yeah, but yeah. what it does is it blocks out what I want. It makes it unclear as to whether what I want is correct. No, it undermines. My judgment. Yeah. Yeah. As to whether what I have, what I think would be right, would be right, or at least not right or wrong, but it, but better, would be a better way to go. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you might be able to confront the gentleman? Uh, My dad or the guy? Oh, the guy. I don't know. That's your <laughs> test, isn't it? Yeah. Whether you're still bound by that. Or a good explanation. But you already have an explanation. It doesn't make any sense to me. Pardon me. You already have an explanation. You already see. You, you use the word, I don't understand. Right. Right. What would you have to do? I'd have to sit down and ask him what's going on. Why is he putting it the way that way? Right. And what's his thinking because it doesn't make any sense. Right. That's what you'd have to do. What, what, hey, what kind of a person would do that? Um, mean person. Yeah, if they said what they thought and dealt with the workman who may have screwed up, you'd be a mean person if you were. <coughs> Is that right? That's right. Oh. And you don't want to appear mean, so let it go. Uh, 
it, this is tough for me. This is everywhere at work. Every yeah. morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? The Thai say, Yaman. What's Yaman? Thai way. Thai right way. Right on. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yep, yep. So you just have a problem that if you solve it in one place, it's over. Yeah, it, to say what I want is, um, uh, it, 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 I don't even know what I want. I mean, like, literally, that's what occurs. No, no, that's the conclusion. Mm. Oh, well, I have to get back to what I think is yeah, what I want. Yeah, 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 don't but forget that. It gets that. so Wait convoluted that I'm not sure. Yeah, when you go through the convoluted thinking, then you end up with, I don't know what I want, but how does it start out? Well... I know what I want. Yeah. Uh, that convoluted thinking, is that like your dad that you mentioned a moment ago with Matt? Uh, like my dad, yeah. That he gets off going to other tangents. It doesn't really help me with what I should be doing. But you can't say anything, so you have to go along with it, because after all, he is your father, has a right to teach her. Right. Right. That's right. You know what's and wrong? And I do get done. Hey, I watch TV. Hey, you know what's wrong with that thinking? <laughs> well. Just only one thing. What is it? Besides everything else. What is it? Very likely the person you're dealing with doesn't know what they're doing. <clears throat> They goofed. Yeah. But you'd be mean if you ever challenged it. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, you, you don't want to be mean. Well, <laughs> you could cut off I know how I deal with it sometimes. I'll go ask someone else to get their feedback, and then I'll come back and say, by the way, somebody else said this. <laughs> I'll do that. You mean it'll keep you from saying what That's you That's right. <laughs> it uh, gets me off the hook. <laughs> have you done that? In, Many times. In Parmenides' group? Uh, I try to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not so enough. you're even seeing it there. But I may be, I, I'll likely be long, wrong, so I don't try it there too often. I'm more than often wrong, so I don't think it works there as much. Uh, aren't they all wrong in what they're doing? Well, yeah, even the people leaving. Yeah. They don't say anything to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's weird. But, but to confront them would put you in such a state of mind that you'd end up pulling back and not saying what you think. You got it. Right. I don't even talk about the jewelry box. I just say, okay, leave the burner. It's not there. It's not a big deal. That's interesting. That you're not a big deal. <laughs> you want to get, hey, you want to get back being the big deal. Right. Yeah, because I'm sacrificing Isis yeah. and Sebastian. Yeah. That's interesting. I can't and, do that. <laughs> and the things you love. You happen to love the cats. Yep. But I think that maybe I keep them closed up and I shouldn't and blah, blah, blah. Maybe they're right. Ah. Very strange. No, it's not. <laughs> Nothing strange about it. Well, that's the comments I get a lot of times. Why don't you let them out? And I'm going, yeah, well. Now, is there anything strange about that, or is it pretty clear? That uh, they could be in danger? Or no, no, no. Oh, what? In general, we're back to being put in this situation. Oh, that that's, yeah. Yeah. That I've made a judgment, and uh, I can't, I, I'm, uh, I'm always finding something wrong with it. Yeah. Especially under these, come on, circumstances, not generally. Right, right. When people may have statements or may be right or are right about what they're doing uh, or yeah, saying. Excuse me. Or thinking. No. Okay. What am I doing wrong? Well, 
you're assuming that what they may be doing may in fact be right. But oh, yes. all of this starts with the assumption that you see that there's something that they may be doing which is wrong. Yeah. Oh, I see. So the very beginning is they, the people staying right. there were leaving, but they didn't tell me. That's yeah. the beginning. There it is. Yeah. So I guess that's the way they're doing it. I guess you got a dream that might tell you it's about time you started saying what you think. <laughs> yeah. That's a disastrous dream. Try not to remember this one. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Try to follow well, it. Yeah, got a comment. <laughs> Thank you. Try to. Oh, it was just that that that, that it was that um, they didn't tell her that was the yeah. way they left. Oh. Yeah. But sure. also, I thought it interesting that even the cats need to rely on the other animals to know when to come in. Right? Interesting. <laughs> That's clever. That's true. That's interesting. I put them out there. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Regina, what? You have this issue going on with the drains at your homeowners association place? Uh, well, at the house, yes. If you were to talk to this man and explain to him why the drains shouldn't go there, you call that being mean? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, that's like the affect of it, right? But what, what's the way that person functions? Like, you would have to explain to him what you saw, take him through the steps, help him to see that what you said was better than what he was doing. Like, what would you call that kind of way of functioning? Same. Mean? Well, that would be challenging. Yes. Challenging, yes. Challenging. But also, like... That would be saying you're wrong. True. But if you were to help him to see how he was wrong, and exactly in what way the drains were blocking a path... No, he should have he, he should have asked me before he put them in to make sure that the way he was doing it was a way that would be best. Or is there some other way? Or is there, a, or, or what is his reasoning for doing it the way he's doing it? Because it doesn't make sense to me. Right. And he didn't do that. So if, no. you were to, if you were to come through now and help him to see how it could be done better. Or he better explain it very clearly why he's doing it the way he's doing it. Because it's not clear to me that, it, I mean, like you've got a drain right in the middle of a pathway. And when you help to explain someone, is that something that you challenge one another over, or is that something that you share in? Like, is it his way or your way, or can you guys come to understand his under his way of doing it, or he can come understand your way of doing it? Yeah, it would be good, but if it's already done to some degree, yeah. that means there's a lot of work put in without any Oh, asking. it's already been done? A lot of it, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's not at the beginning stages. It's already being done. Same with the flyer. It, it's like, I've done this, and there's no question. In, in fact, all last semester, I never questioned it. Although one person said, why don't you do this? And when I asked the woman, um, she said she couldn't do it. So I just said, okay. If you were to then bring to her the things that she needed to, to get done and help her to see that and help her get them done, what would you call that kind of person? Uh, somebody who should be doing what I'm asking her to do. Uh, I'm not asking Oh, I don't know what, what you're asking. What would you call somebody who helps somebody else address their problems and then go through them and learn to deal with them. Uh, you mean me helping her deal yeah. with what she needs to deal with? If it wasn't you, if it was somebody else. Some other co-worker came in and said, hey, look, this is deficient, and pointed out why, and this, these are the improvements that need to be made. Right. What would you call that person? A good person, <laughs> somebody who knows what they should do, yeah. and a somebody leader. Somebody who knows what they should do? Well, and being able to say what they think. Somebody so. who knows what they should do and is able to share their vision with somebody else. Right. And somebody that I can't be. Well, that, that's a mm. question still. Yeah. 
But it's it kind of goes back to this scene. That's what your dad doesn't do, right? No, because when he's doing that, I ask him, I'd like to understand this, but then in the process he goes over here and does this and does that. So that's a model of, of being, He's not. is he a teacher in that scene? Well, he's, he's put in the role of that, but he's not teaching. So that's not teaching. Yeah. If he were to actually sit with you and look at your problems and listen to you and help you through them, would that be a teacher then? Yeah. So in your presence then, you have to come back and meet those people and actually teach them in some way? Right. Even actually, it's interesting because when I'm talking to students about math and maybe even helping some elementary students, I see that they're doing something wrong. Even that, at that moment, although it's for a brief moment, I can get over that level. Mm -hmm. But even for that brief moment, what are they going to do if I say that what they're doing is wrong? Well, that is grounds for a war, right? Yeah. Because it's either you're challenging him. Right. That's what you say. You use the words challenge him, right? Yeah. So <laughs> when, idea, when people have different ideas, that's the groundwork for challenge. Right, or even to ask, you know, something that may be in contradiction to what they're presenting, or what about this, or yeah, everything. So you already know in that past scene what it means to challenge him. My dad? Yeah. Yeah. That's already, thou shalt not do that. Yeah. Or my mother. <laughs> yeah, right. So yes. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Good. Thank you, Josh. Fun. Julie. Thanks. So. Um, Interesting. Uh, what did you conclude with the no, we didn't discussion conclude. I had with Josh? No, we didn't conclude. Well, I, well, I didn't see that you wanted to go further in that discussion, so I kind of backed off from it. Right. Yeah. I did? He, I backed off? He, he, he did. I did. Oh, he you did. did? Yeah. I, oh, so where would you have gone? Why did you back I off? Don't, I don't want to be so blunt. I, you don't seem to want to go down the road of reflection. Be blunt. Oh, yeah. I have never known myself never to go down the road of well, you still haven't named the way that you would have to function in order to help the person with the flyer, in order to... Oh, you want me to name that kind of a person? Like, uh, what is that way of being? Because we didn't like your first you said, naming. You said mean, right? No, I said... You call that person good. Those that's are... what I'm doing, but to call that other person that does it, I'd say they're able, they're, they're uh, forthright, they're challenging, they can speak their mind, they can be direct, and simple and so these are all very good descriptive qualities of, of like, other people that I of, see doing that of qualities but what kind of name would you give to somebody that oh. does all of has all those qualities together uh, well I would say if they were able to be that way, they would be uh, a good boss, right. a good teacher, right. a good, uh, a good friend. And therefore, his remark. Therefore, I'm not a good. Therefore, his remark is. Am I, I, is that a conclusion? I don't know if it's a conclusion. As much as it maybe describes like the boundary of what you're challenging yourself. To be friends, to be a boss, to be a director, a teacher, in the good sense. Yeah. Uh, a good friend. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm not friends with my animals then. That's not good. Um, Yeah, that's what they would be. So then that is, the dream is all the ways that takes you away from that? Or the way that you're taken away from it? Well, I think I accept a state of mind that takes me away from that. That I believe is better to do than the other because it's been pounded into me, you better not do it. <laughs> If you do it, then, you know. But notice this way you just described a functioning. What would it take for you to function like that? 
courage. courage. <laughs> I think I have a different question, which is what would you have to understand the function like that? Can't, can't answer that. Because presupposes she's a different kind of being. Hi, what? what? <laughs> this is a very interesting, what do you mean a different kind of being? What does that mean? He wants to know. No, no. <laughs> if you stay with the question that he's posing, what does it assume about yourself if you were to answer it? Um, he's putting you in a situation and he's saying, if you were to act out that way, what would you be? To, uh, to in a way, like a good boss? Yeah. Like a good boss? Yeah. Yeah. Or a good teacher? Or and what kind friend. of understanding would I have to come to to, uh, to be able to do that? That's, right. <laughs> that's well, the issue. That's <laughs> why I have the dream. That's why she had the dream. Well, I was just seeing if she could coalesce what she had come to. Because uh, I think it's there for her. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I th yeah, I think I, I think I have to put it into practice now. See if I what comes up when I do. Actually. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I, I have yeah, a thanks, question Gina. about the that drain. Is that the drain in your house? That you were talking about? The the house, not the condo. Okay, so if you were to be a friend to yourself, how would you handle the drain issue? I don't know. I'll find yeah. out. I mean, can when I, I, when I face that. the guy, when you, <laughs> the guy comes. I mean, if you don't have him repair it, and or if I don't understand what he's doing, then oh, yes, okay. I am yeah, still in the game. <clears throat> yeah. But okay. just now you said, uh, oh, you, you put your hands up and said, hey, can't ask her that. Why? Can't, can't answer that. Well, can't answer, answer that as well? Answer. I would assume she's a different kind of person than she is. Can't answer it. Yeah. Right. Given the given the given the dynamics of the problem, that is her limit. Okay. Sad. Bill. Go on. Bill. Yeah. This this is a very long, and I, it, I kept getting up because I remember something more about it. And I could have wrote it, and so forth. Oh. So I tried to edit it down, but perhaps I can maybe uh, give a the situation in the dream, and then. The, did more of the dynamics, which I seem to recognize the more I look at it. May I make a brief request? Could you switch chairs with Regina so I can get you both in the frame? You and the Pierre. Thanks, Gina. A neck aid comes with every new white car from now on. Sure. <laughs> Looking left at the uh, Would that be acceptable for you? Yes, please. Uh, in the dream, I'm in a crowd of some sort with Rhonda and this voice comes yelling over me, Gilbert, Gilbert. <laughs> And uh, I look around and see this fellow, I, I seem to know who he is even when I think about him, but I don't know who it is really, tall fellow. And uh, he said he wants me to uh, join him on a project. And so I'm overjoyed that he's going to want me to do the project. And uh, as, as it turns out, he, he keeps talking about this project, but he never says anything specific about it. It's just, to do this project and I really want to do it, you know, and I'm reflecting, now I'm retired, I have plenty of time, you know, I want to do this project. And then I tell him that I have this book that I'm doing besides, that I'm already doing, which is really not true at the time I say it. And, uh, but as I see it, when I, when he says I'm going to do the project, I think I'll do whatever it takes to, to learn how to do the project. I, I'll do what it does, I'll buy a new computer if I have to, or anything like that, and I'll do it. But the dynamic, I, I don't know what else to say about it. It's like, um, the, the problem I see is there's no, no specifics, which is what happens when I talk to his partner who wants to do the pro project with me, and they keep talking in generalities, <coughs> and I'm noticing they're not giving me any specifics about it. I'm making the assumption it's a formatting a book or something like that, and uh, that's, it's like that, but I have this also, this dynamic, I'll do whatever it takes, but, uh, it's kind of like a dynamic in my life every day. I can't get into actually doing something. I, I have these great ideas, but they don't go into something, doing it. So I, I'm not sure how to go with this any more than that. It's like um, 
I, I seem to be able to let go and do whatever I'm supposed to do, but I don't do it. Seems like that. And so even when I talk to him, I say, well, give me your card or your phone number. He hasn't got a phone number or a card. I don't challenge him on that. You know, and his partner doesn't have a card or can't give me a phone number. And I don't challenge him on it either. It's just like I'm joy to get the project, it seems like, rather than really finding out what the project is. But in tie with this, when I said I had this book project, then I become saying to myself, well, I have to learn how to make the pages come out so they're front and back. You know, so you have page one and page two and so forth. And at one point in the dream, I look at the project, that book, and I already did it. They were already fixed like that. You know, I didn't like the way the text was formatted, but I already fixed that problem. But the specificity, the specificity of it is what bugs me about it, because I have all these general ideas, and when it comes down to the point of doing them, I don't really do them. I don't, I don't really get into the specifics of them. And this, this is everywhere. I, I get a new piece of equipment, and I figure I can do it without reading the book. And, uh, you know, even years later, I realized I should have read the book on that damn thing, and I would see what it was like. You know, it's like uh, I would really see the facts about it. So uh, I don't know what else to say about it. It's a very interesting uh, dynamic that I see everywhere. You know, I, I really don't know what to say with it. It's just a really long dream, a lot of detail in it. It was but, a couple of days. there was a, a part of the dream that drove you into that reflection that you were reading? Maybe you could call <coughs> the dream. <laughs> read the whole thing. Uh, dream of the. Um, this. Okay, we were at. Uh, we were at this. We were at this. Some kind of concert or something. This guy. A lot of people. And the guy says, "Gilbert, Gilbert." And this guy, a tall guy, I've met him before, and he rounds with me. He says, "I'm going to. Uh, um, I'm going to have this project, and I'd like you to work with us on it." And I assumed it was some kind of format formatting project or something, and we talked about it a little. And then we talked about it more, and we had these two huge presentation boards, like a whiteboard, you know. And I think they were whiteboards, about four by eight feet or something like that. And we went from there and went down to some other place, a whole bunch of people down this driveway, across this bridge, and back to another bunch of people. And I met some of his partners, and we were talking, but we were not talking any specifics. We said, well, that's good, I'm doing, I'm reading, formatting a book right now, and I know exactly what I can do, that kind of thing. We talked very lightly and not much detail in it. But he was really interested in having me in this project with me and surrounded by his partner. Then I was very, I was very, it was very interesting. I was really excited about it. We, while we were talking, I, I said to myself, well, I'm going to buy a new computer if I have to buy a new one. Whatever I have to buy, I'll, I'll buy it to do this project. And then we were about to leave. I was carrying those huge, big things I'm carrying. I couldn't quite get them up my head and walking. And this other guy had come back with them. He was a big dude. I was carrying them, and just as I was carrying them, I woke up. I didn't quite get them up on my head. And I came back, and the same kind of ideas came back to me, is that I was going to buy a new computer, I was really excited about doing it, and that I was retired, that was in the dream, and uh, that Ron and I were talked a little on the side. Wait, could you slow down and actually read, continue actually reading? Where? I was very, I was excited, very excited about, about using I was very excited about this thing, it was something to do, you know, and I'm retired, but maybe something I could really do, a good project and get involved in something, do this whole thing, one thing between it, you know, I, I took out the, that's the thing in my mouth, and uh, I was just kind of mainly excited and be able to do it, do something now that I'm retired, and uh, part of it was going to get a new computer, because I needed one, and no withholding, that was mainly the thing, um, Rhonda and I talked a little bit on the side, we were both excited about it, we looked at each other a lot, that's in a dream, while the guy's talking to me, I kept looking at Rhonda, and we did some face uh, thing, we both thought it was a good thing. And uh, then the rest of it, I, I got up and that's the context of it, that I had a computer going on, computer problem. And, uh, and then we got to a place where I was carrying... That's where it was, I was carrying this big uh, four by eight foot read. whiteboard. <laughs> that's in the first part. So can you read it? I did, didn't I? No, and no, no window with where about to leave, I was going to carry these two huge things. I'm carrying them. I couldn't quite get them up on my head and walking. And this guy had carried them all the way. It was a big dude. And I was carrying them. Just as I was carrying, I woke up. I couldn't quite get them up on my head. I couldn't quite get them up there. They weren't getting up there. I remember that quite clearly in the dream. I couldn't get them up there, balance them. The eighth line up from the bottom of the first paragraph. No, he's eighth line up. 
one thing between it? Yeah. Oh, that's in uh, real life. I I have this tooth thing I have at night that I carry around in my mouth at right. night. Right, just keep, pick it up from there. Okay. A whole program? One thing between it. I know I took out the tooth thing in my mouth and I was just kind of getting ma mainly excited and to be able to do it, do something now that I'm retired. Also, part of it was to get a new computer because I needed one and no withholding. That was mainly the thing. Rhonda and I talked a little bit on the side. We were both excited about it. We looked at each other a lot and then we got to a place where I was carrying that thing. There was a concert there too, uh, a whole program, a show of some sort. But that's the dream. And then the, the notes are that it's 5 o'clock in the morning and that's the context from there on. It's 5 o'clock in the morning and the day we we were going to get up and get a new computer part. Just a lot. Of the, I repeated it. Just a lot of excitement about what's going to happen, how we're going to do it, that sort of thing. Uh, we're going to get to that later. And so, but the thing was, at one point I said, "Give me your phone number so I can call you," and he seemed to hesitate. He didn't seem to have a phone that he could give me, which I thought was strange. And that's the end of the dream. And uh, but the second part is I remember in this doing this other book that I told him I was doing, I was worried about how to do it such that the pages came out right. That one page on the other side because it's a book. And I thought, well, I can't remember exactly how to do it. I've done about six or seven books. Uh, but I can learn I can learn how to do it. No problem at all. The thing that was most interesting was that the fellow didn't have a phone number. He kind of looked at me strangely or something. I thought maybe he could give me a card or something. I wish I'd had a card. I've had cards in the past and that was interesting. And then the rest of it is a different scene in that, which is uh, the other part of the dream that went through the, with the concert that we were at. I was walking around in the nude, and I saw my pants and my skivvies over someplace, and saw my pants somewhere, those brown pants I've been wearing, and I wanted to get them on. It didn't, it didn't seem to be a big problem, me walking around in the nude. It was sort of a problem, because I didn't be walking around in the nude in this uh, whole crowd, but I knew if I could get those pants on and those skivvies on, I would feel much better. I don't know what to say. I even wondered where I was going to get a shirt. But I was talking to this guy. I was asking him for specifics on this project. He seemed not to be able to give me specifics. I asked him several times, but I couldn't get specifics. I wanted to know more about what the project was, still assuming that some sort of formatting problem was of some sort. I think I thought of him as a PR guy. He did it for PR for companies, and this would be a PR thing. It was mainly a, a formatting thing. What can I say about it? Did you get that paragraph, Chewie? I remember in, in this, during doing this other book. Did he read that? Oh. I remember in this, doing this other did, book. No, no, uh, the, did, he, did he read that paragraph? Yeah, I thought he did. Okay. I may have been spaced out. No problem. Yeah. Okay. That, that dynamic is in there. I can learn how to do it each time when something is going on. But he, he added something that diverted our attention. He said, I've written six or seven books. And we like that one. Say that again. You added that you had written six or seven books. And I, all our no, that wasn't. In that, that I, right. Yeah, but no. as a result, we missed two lines. No, that was part of a dynamic in there, yes. Okay. What theme do you see is dominating this dream? The uh, idea that there are general ideas but no specific elements coming out of it, no, not capturing something about it. They're, they're general ideas like the guy's going to give me this project but I don't know what it is, his partner can't give me any details and I want to know, but I don't ask him. What's that like him. at that moment? Not asking him? Yeah. That's a... Um, not pushing to to see how to do something in, in specifics like um, I have these great ideas but I don't when it, when I try to do them I don't really do them I don't really have specifics about it um, driving around somewhere I have this paper I want to write about a project somebody's doing here and I have all these wonderful ideas but when I get home and sit down at the computer to write it I don't, I don't write it. Yeah. I don't, I don't get it out. Yeah. Or when I get a new program, I figure I can do it without reading the book, you know. And, and I stumble around trying to do the damn thing, and 
then I realized later when I read it that all I had to do was read the book and I would have seen what I'm stumbling around trying to do. Oh. The very it's a specific thing, trying to actually read carefully what's there. That I don't I have these great ideas, I'm not pushing them and putting them out. And then when I got to the book in this dream, where I actually saw I knew how to do it, I, I, well, no, I had done it, whether I knew how I had done it, that's different. Yeah. That's the dynamic I see mostly, it's yeah. really shown it to me. Did you ask the question, what was it like being in that predicament? Specifically in the dream, so you go to the spot in the dream. There you are, you described it well, and your conclusion is, but we were not talking any specifics. What did that do to you? You knew, right? You know you, there you are, you're not getting what you need. What's that like? Um, I'm not saying what I, it's like, uh, not saying, I'm not saying what I see. I'm not, I'm not asking for more. I'm not, I, I really want to know about it, but I'm so overwhelmed with the problem that I got a project from these people. But it's, just saying it's a project doesn't seem, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that I know what it's going to be without asking him more about it. I'm, you know, yeah, that's true. Just getting by. Yeah, what's that like? It's, it's, what should I, it's empty. It's, empty, more, go It's ahead. not, uh, there's, it's, it's lacking some substance to it. It's, it's a, um, it doesn't have anything to it. It's like just feelings in a way. It doesn't, yeah, yeah. It doesn't. So do you even have some uh, grounds maybe to uh, wonder about the people you're talking about? Like, the, the fellow the, the yeah, yeah. Yeah. He doesn't even have a calling card, card giving his telephone. business. Yeah, no. Yeah, and so. I don't I don't push him on it. Yeah, well, <laughs> the same thing, right? Right there. Yeah. And what, his partner what, too isn't. Yeah, what's that like right there in the dream? With the calling card. Hey. You don't you, you, you. That's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> It's hard to capture that. Oh yeah, question, you know? right. <laughs> it's like, why would I not ask him for it? Yeah. yeah. I took it on myself. I didn't have my card, you know. So, like, you can get it in the dream, though. So, like, yeah, at that moment in the dream, can you describe what it was like? It was... <laughs> That's really... <laughs> I just let it slip by. I didn't. I didn't do anything with it. I, it's like. Right. I didn't do anything. I let I, it I slip by. Yeah. I didn't push him. I mean, that even that is, it didn't even come in my mind that, that I should have pushed him on it in a way. It's like. I don't know. I let something about <coughs> what he wanted me to do, but it wasn't. He didn't. He wasn't clear about what he wanted me to do, but I just let that keep me from pushing him and finding out what he was what he was up to. Yeah, I let that go on. Yeah. I let. Yeah, that... I let. I let, but it's it's not even that conscious, you know what I mean? It's, oh, yeah, it's that's very, right. Uh, that's right, it's pretty invasive, right? No, it's very... Um, but it's powerful. Oh, yeah. It took me... Uh, <laughs> that's a great dynamic. Um, very pervasive. Um, it just slipped by me in a way, you know. I didn't. It bothered me in there. I, I saw that, but I didn't. I didn't act on what bothered me. It's like yeah, yeah. And we want to know exactly what that moment is, which is not, not easy to describe. But try it. Like, I let it slip by. I saw at the moment, but there it is, right there. That, that state of mind. Yeah, I did it with his partner too, same thing. Yeah, right, right. As a matter of fact, you even volunteered that you didn't have a card either, so the same problem 
yeah, no, can I'm equally good. be on your side yeah, as right. it is on them. Well, I took it on myself rather yeah, than right. asking him about his. Right, <laughs> right. So you got I it took both. Took the blame. Yeah, you got it both ways. Yeah. God, that's. Isn't that great? Yeah, great one. It's very. It's, I don't call it subtle, but it's very. It's, it's pervasive. I mean, mm. it's a lot of places, but yeah. <laughs> sneaky. Yeah, it's, yeah, it is. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. But I let something. So hard to right, I let something slip by. See. So. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I saw it. I saw it. Uh, even with this partner, I saw that yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that puts you in what state of mind? Well, I'm not. I'm not being what I could be. I mean, that's I'm not, right. I'm not. You know, like if I'm going to do something with this fellow uh, that he so much wants me to do, I, I have to be. You know, I have to be more forthright. No, I don't know what that word. Um, no, that's true. You'd have to not have the problem. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's the same kind of question as before. See, yep. mm -hmm. given the limitations, that's what you're working in. That's, you know. But go ahead. Well, no, it's. Uh, uh, you said you were driving along <laughs> the other day, and you had this idea. Right. Yeah. But then I, I had it when I'm driving along. I don't have it when I get home. I mean, it's I just let it slip by. <laughs> See there? Yeah, no, it sounds great when I'm driving, you know. And I said, well, that's really wonderful. Even when I find some place to write it down when I'm, you know, in a car. And, yeah. And then when I get home, I said, what was that idea? You know, it's like, and I go out there and I get at the computer and uh, it's not there. Yeah, it's not right. There at all. And it was so right. wonderful when I was in the car. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. By the way. It may be that that state of mind, uh, which you called in the dream, a certain joy, being given a task. Right, right. Right. That's the same thing in the car. It's yeah, kind of a joy yeah, to it. Yeah, and that may have such an effect. The enjoyment, the anticipation, may make the accomplishment of less significance. <laughs> It's hard work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to work. You gotta really do something. Then, you know? yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah you get then off, it's hard work. You get off on the right. little idea. Yeah. Because that's what's going on. I got off on the idea. Why don't you do this project? You know, he's yeah. A big tall fellow. I think he's kind of like a movie star type fellow. But it's, uh, you know, that's what I see him as. But it's like, um, yeah, that's right. No, that's a, yeah. that's a hell of a dynamic. Right. What the hell? I had so much fun. Why do, why do I, why yeah, do I have, I to, have do to do it? I have to do the work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But on the other hand, you realize that at that moment that you're giving up something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I could have, maybe you didn't have shit for, you know, that's, just, right. you just, that's all he had was to tell me how to project. Mm. And I guess he wanted me to do the work, maybe, you know? Yeah. Was... By the way, if that's true, well, let's play with, play with that. Okay. Right. Then if you were to go ahead and demand that kind of information, would your role then be different? Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, then I take control. Yeah, right. <laughs> You'd be the control. captain of the ship. Right, and he... Either he's got some or he doesn't. Yeah. You know, yeah. it would reveal what he has. It may be that he does really have something, but I'm not going to find out if, the way I do it. Right. You know, and, and if he's got something, why doesn't he tell me? You know, yeah. that's, that's uh, why doesn't he have a phone number or a card? Yeah. You know, if it's such a big deal. Yeah. And I even see that. I see yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. And, and he looked at me strangely, which means like he he doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, and the implications that go a long way. Yes, they do. But you pull back. You pull back. Just stay with the joy of something possible. No? Yeah. And I made it up. Remember, at the end, I say oh, I assumed it's some kind of PR job. Yeah. It could have been something entirely different. Right. The because joy when, of I, when I told him I had this other book that I was doing, it was kind of bullshit. Yeah. You know, yeah. I was trying to impress him. And, but then I had this whole dynamic, I'll learn if I have to do it, I'll learn I have to do it. But I'm not actually doing the learning, I mean, in this scene here, or in my life I'm not really spending the time doing the specific learning. Of, yeah. You know, that's... Yeah, I got it. 
Yeah. Like coffee. I can line them up. <laughs> yeah, no. No, it is. No. In fact, it happened yesterday. Good. Then tell me about it. Well, I have this, it's kind of a stereo uh, CD, you know, whatever it is. It's all broken except for the FM radio. And that's in my studio and you can't play anything except the radio. And so to get from one station to another, I keep pushing tune up and it goes zzzz, and I stop it at the right time to get the station, right? But all these years I've had it, must be 20 years or so, there are presets, but I never used them. And I always pissed and moaned to myself, God damn it, to change the station, I gotta go zzzz, you know, and, and go from, you know, K, you know, from the jazz station all the way up to, you know, the classical station and go back down and it doesn't stop unless you push a button, you know, keep no, going. No, no. And so just yesterday, I said to myself, well, shit, there's a preset in this thing. How do you do it, you know? And I searched all over the house, and I couldn't find a goddamn booklet for it because it's 20 years old. And yeah, yeah, it is, yeah, it's you know? a good thing to look for, a 20-year-old yeah, booklet yeah. in the house. 20 right? years later, I have this half broke, you know? And so I thought, how come I don't do that? And then I, I had this problem with it. Mentioned in here, I bought this brand-new modem router thing, and um, I, uh, I got it, and then I spent this half hour on the phone with this guy speaking with a Tagalog accent from the Philippines, I guess, and... Uh, He's trying to tell me how to do this thing, and he's doing the whole thing, and all I had to do was read the booklet that came with the router. <laughs> it was even easier. In the, in the booklet, they say, call the guy, get the name and the password, don't tell him anything else, he'll give you a bunch of crap. And it says that right in the booklet, you know? Right? <laughs> and that's what he gave me, that's a bunch good. of crap. And so I after I did that, that all, and the whole thing, and he's really got this bad accent and a bad contact, you know. And so and then I get off get off the phone, and I said, shit, it says it right there, one short paragraph. And I didn't read it there. Yeah. You were loyal to a teaching. That's right. Wow. Just to this general get yeah, by. Where did, get that, by with stuff. where did that teaching come from? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. It's all through my school. That's for education. I've uh, often Must said the this. atmosphere. Something in the air where you... Where were you living? Sorry, sorry, that's me. Joking. No, that's no. It's a very important thing because uh, I was very. When I went to school in high school, for example, I'd get my books. You know, you didn't have backpacks, and you just carried your books like that. And I'd get home and I'd put it up on the table, and in the morning I'd scoop it back up and go to school. <laughs> <laughs> and then I get into class. I did this my first year at Golden West College. I could get into a history class and not read anything. I pick a sentence out of there, and I can make a great question, which would take over the class, and that's how I'd get out of it. But I didn't learn a damn thing in the class, you know, I just got by, you know, that kind of thing. So I graduated with a C, C grade. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, I don't really push where I could, and it's exciting when you do that. It's outrageous. I did some presets. I finally got some, you know, but I didn't know how the hell I did it, you know? And so that is also a problem, because I'll learn how to do something, and then I'll think, I'll remember that. I'll remember how to do that. And I, say, and I say, well, I should start a notebook to put these handy hints down, you know? And uh, I, don't, I don't put down those handy hints. So you have to relearn again and relearn again. Relearn it again and yeah. again, because yeah. I think I'm going to remember this thing, which is, you know, I'm technical. I remember one of 5,500 different things, you know, how to do things. <laughs> But wait a minute. Yeah. You say you don't know how, but you've told us many times exactly how. That's right, but I have to learn how each time because I've forgotten the key elements of it. You know, it's just... Did you say <clears throat> be specific? Yeah, that's what it is. To specifically how to do it. Hold it. It's not time for that. Okay. Why? because we still want to see whether we can clearly identify that state of letting go or letting, I let, let go. right? So we have to stay there to make sure that it, we have it. <coughs> see, he can see it in several scenes. <clears throat> you mean letting go yeah. of challenging? Yeah, if that's what it is, yeah. Well, it seems like that. I'm not, yeah, okay. I'm not saying what I see about, you know, or, or not saying what I see, but not saying what I want to see. That would be a better way to describe it. I want to see what the project is. I want to see how to do this thing. I, I'm not pushing it. Instead of spending, you know, half an hour on the phone, I could hardly understand. All I do is read a pamphlet, you know, and I have to push myself to see that what I have. That's good. You know, I've already got it. See, now you introduced a new good word, pushing it. Pushing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
pushing it. Even when, <laughs> even when I'm on the phone with a guy and he says something I don't understand, I leave it. Yeah. I don't say to him, hey, what did you say? Yeah. You know, and, and I feel kind of like, you know, I can't understand you. You know, you're not talking clearly or something like that. And he'll say to me, is that better? You know, it really isn't. And I'll say yes. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. I don't push it. I don't. Yeah, got you know, that. What's that state of mind? I don't push it. What's that like? Well, I'm giving up. Giving, go ahead. Giving That's up, true. I'm giving up what I don't see is kind of a strange way to say it. But yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm giving up what I want to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, when, uh, when people say things to me or I hear people say things, I, I don't ask them to repeat it. Um, I just don't, I don't know, I, it's, it's... Let it go down. Let it go down, that'd be a good yeah. way to say it. Let yeah. it happen without, you know, even yeah. though I didn't understand it, and in most cases I can ask, or who gives a damn if they don't like me to ask? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh. you know... Yeah. It, 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 is that part of your early life? Yeah. When? It's a dynamic all through everywhere. I don't ask my father, you know, what he means. Like, one time, we're, you know, the usual sex education talk you have with your father, or he's supposed to. And he comes down, he sits down, he looks real serious at me, and he says, Bill, you know, if you want to know anything about sex, ask me. Which means don't ask me. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like he's saying it in such a way, some later time you want to know about sex, you know, don't ask me about it, that kind of thing. Or, you know, ask me then, but not now. I'm going to. He said this whole scene, he's ready, and I'm, you know, I, I want to know what he thinks about it. Yeah. But he doesn't. I don't ask him. I like and that. And he's telling me not to ask him. Yeah. While well, at the same time, while well, at the same time, asking him. What do you mean? Is that he's not? He is and he isn't. He is and he isn't. He's telling me to ask him, but he doesn't want me to. Yeah. Right. But, but you know it's phony. Yeah, it's phony. I know that. It's like he's, he's. Well, I don't know it's phony, but it's. I. I think it's interesting. Well, it's interesting given who he is for him to even say that to me. Yeah, that's already because he's event. such a prude. You know, I mean, it's like for him to really come out of that and well, say that to me. It's yeah. like you know, this is like a high point in your career, in his career with you. That's right. Right. That's right. So therefore, it's more than memorable. It's a lesson. Right. It's, it's telling me. Yeah. How does he look at that time? Oh, he looks really. Um, looks real genuine. He's very. I can see him. He's very, um, looks like he's sincere. Good. Very sincere. Uh, um, like he really wants to help me, but not really. <laughs> what was that? He, he, he wants look, he doesn't. He wants to look like. He wants to look like he wants to help me, but he really doesn't want to help me. He just, yeah. you know, he's not, it, it's obvious that he doesn't want me to ask. I mean, it's yeah, nice. you're saying if you do later, you know, that kind of a thing, you know, like if you, it's in other words, if you haven't found out sometime later, <laughs> ask me about it. That's, you know, uh, if, if in the meantime, in the meantime, don't ask me. Yeah. yeah. Don't try to get the specifics. Right. Right. Don't try to get the, <laughs> you know, don't oh, talk to, I'm not going to tell you anything about cocks and pussies yeah. or anything like that. You know, I'm just, yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> and you have, and you have to accept that. I accepted it. Yeah, well, as a kid, you have to Well, I'm, I'm already, you know, 10 or 11, 12 years old, so I've been yeah. learning it for a yeah. while, you know? Yeah. Interesting. Because that is a dynamic, I know. Yeah. Push it, you know, even the guy on the phone, you know? it's that, it, I really need to know how that goddamn router works, you know? Say, and by the way... I let him get away with it. Uh, give me a name for the way your father functioned at that moment. It's a show. He's just putting on a show. It's not. It's um. Mm. Phony. It's phony is a good word. Uh, um, he's pretty good at it. Yeah, at least I accept it pretty well. Yeah, he, he looks believable. Oh, he looks very sincere. It's really yeah. sincere. Yeah. But it's never brought up again. Yeah. You know, and. Uh, that's one of his high points in his relation with you. That's right. That's right. So he's sharing as much as he can, which is 
That's right. That's right. right. That's, that's all he's got. You saw, you saw that's, that's as far limit. as this can go. This is the limit. That's it. I can see him right there looking at where, you know, Bill, if you really want to know, <laughs> you know, if you want to know something about it, just ask me, you know, like, not now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Interesting. Uh, how are you functioning since then? Uh, just like him. Just like him. Yeah, no, I'm not going to ask. So there's I mean, only I'm one. Not, I'm taking the There's same only role. one way out. Huh? What? There's only one way out. Ask. Yeah. yeah. But don't ask. <laughs> no, no. Now you want to. I, I have to. I have to ask. Right. And it bugs me too. I mean, I I feel that resistance. You know, I feel like. Am I going to put up with it? You know, I'm going to. But that was your relationship with that's him. That's my relationship, and I let that relationship yeah. go on. And those are boundaries. That's right. And that's now right. you're being asked to step out of the boundary. That's right. That's right. It's it's. Scary. I resist it. I resist it. It's very hard yeah. for me to do that. To yeah. say, stop. And then the second time, after he said it the second time, and I still don't understand. To say it the third time, say it again. Yeah. Get the phone somewhere else, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of your Tagalog accent. Come on. <laughs> you know, it's like. So there's only one place you can uh, test this out. Your Everywhere. whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow. Everywhere. Today. Tomorrow. Yeah, today, probably. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Full customer service. Going to see some relatives. You've defined. Today. You've defined very well the boundary within the game at home. Well, it's like if I really do that, it's going to step outside that boundary. That's right. right. Yeah. It's going to make it that. Well, you know, this is a chapter in my book where my mother is telling me off on the side, she says, uh, my dad every night comes home and he puts a newspaper in front of him and he's supposedly asleep with this newspaper kind of held like this. And uh, my mother takes me off over on the side and she says, you know, Bill, I'm not really getting as much out of my relationship as I should. And so I just say to her, I said, it's because you're not making love. And she goes, Don! <laughs> and he runs out. Wait a minute, see? Oh. You gave an answer. Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I gave her an answer. I you gave, gave an answer that it was yours. Very clear. It's my and answer. look what happened. Yeah, right. He tried to whip me in high school. He's about half my size. I mean, Jesus. Yeah. You know, it's, and it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's <really nice. laughs> Well, we're going to look forward. He wasn't asleep either. We're going to look forward to seeing what happens. Yes, yes. Even as I push this, yes. yeah, yeah. No, it's a very common dynamic. Very common. And time for it too. Yeah, it is. It is definitely pleasure. <laughs> Thank you very much okay. for a long time. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you, Thank you That was very nice. Yeah. Great. It's not where I thought it would go. <laughs> I'm glad Thank I kept you, asking you. <laughs> Was it after Good. that that he offered to have this discussion? What? After your mom said, Don, was it after that that your father came oh, up? Oh, no, it was years the... before that. Oh, before that. Oh, have years, years, David? Oh, okay. Years ago. David has a yeah. yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's do David's. Yeah, okay. Uh, no. I thought that. Uh, by the way, while we're taking a break, uh, if I can make a quick announcement. What? Um, I have finally caught up with all the audio and videos that... Uh, we're done over the holiday break. They're all finally up uh, as of last night. Huzzah! Thank you very much to Yanni and Barbara for both the videos and audios. Mm. Both were crucial. And the Besant Lodge uh, recording from Thursday night is now up. Mm. How about last night? <laughs> Uh, last night's not up yet. You sure you got time for this? Thank you. I missed last night. Last night's in the bag over there. I'm sorry. It's got Thank the you, bag. Pierre. That's interesting. The very thing that I'm facing with that state of mind is the project. <laughs> Good. And I saw it at a meeting. Good. That's what I did. I can't be a boss like you. Thank you. That's the thinking. Yes, miss. Miss. Would you like yeah. something cold to drink? I'm drinking coffee right now because uh, there's a coffee god. That it works. Well, thank you. It'll be interesting how I finish that study. Is okay if I send these home if to finish. Finish. So I have something for tomorrow? Oh, good idea. These two. Oh, here's a separate thing. It, uh, it's, I, I, this is kind of questionable. Thank you. If, I, if I don't share this dream, I won't get to share any dreams. So it's kind of. Oh. What I ended up with. And so I'll take what I get. 
I didn't ask for this. I did not ask for this dream. I'm cutting you off. I had a better dream this morning. Knock it off. Knock it off. Knock it off yourself. You're not doing me any favors. So knock it off. Please. No. Knock it off. No, please, you can say it nicer than that. Cut off the knock it off. I was enjoying the fact that you were putting yourself down. I wasn't enjoying the fact that okay. you were putting yourself down. Just shut up. Excuse me. I wasn't enjoying shut up, that. Please. And I don't need to be put down. Please. Knock it off. Uh, can you say it a little better than Knock that? it off, please. <laughs> that doesn't say anything, but okay. Dina, you're not appreciated. Come on, stop. I was enjoying the fact that I appreciated you. Well, you're not. You need to know that. Come on. Let's do your dream. I'm not going to do it. I, just, uh, I apologize for that. If that's what's upsetting these aren't, you. These aren't the kind of people I want to share with. Oh, David, I'm sorry if that upset you. Really, I am. I told it you to knock it off. I didn't want an argument. Well, I apologize if that's what it did to you. Well, you fucked it up. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. If you leave, I'll do my dream. Well, if it takes mine to do that, I will leave. Thank you. Sorry, I had to be that way, but um, hey. I don't take that shit. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. You want me to read it? Uh, a for a few minutes. Hold on. Sure, let's hear it, Dave. Sounds familiar.
Apparently, my spell check isn't working too well. I wouldn't notice it. That's okay. We catch the drive. Yeah. No, thank you. You know, there's a showdown in the dream too, isn't there? Uh, what do you see in this interesting dream? I don't know. I got. I own a lot of possessions. Is what it looks like to me. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. That's just something I noticed. Um, <coughs> Well, I was kind of hoping that I would be able to get together with this lady, and uh, that gets sabotaged. Um, and then everything just goes... Uh, I think the only good thing about the dream is I get some stuff off my chest about the jerks I used to work with. Um, I, I sort of, uh, it was, somebody asked me a nice question the other day when I was talking about it, you know, what was my state of mind, did I lose, um, did, did I seem, was, and I, it seems like I'm, I'm pretty much in each scene doing the best I can to, to manage a difficult situation. There's one, there's one other place where, uh, <coughs> Let's see. I just want to make it clear that in the first paragraph, the, the old girlfriend is really nonchalant about her marriage, like it's not important. And, and then in the last paragraph, this blue person really isn't the secretary, but she was a woman that worked at my last school, and she was really a nice person, somebody you could share with. And... Um, uh, there were uh, people standing around there too that I had to tell mm -hmm. to back. So there was another, <clears throat> there was another confrontation there. Yeah. yeah. Um, just in the first two paragraphs, do you find any theme running through the first two paragraphs? <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> The Arkansas kid kind of has this mean attitude. Thank you. The kid. Uh, how often do you use the idea of mean in the first two paragraphs? A lot. A lot. There's, there's, I. 
Right. Been dealing with a lot of mean people all my life and, yeah. and getting beat up for it. Right. It runs through this whole dream. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, somebody steals my car. That's not very nice. Um, people won't help me at the death. There's more going on all around. This is the best I can. Um, hack your phone. I'm going to hack my phone. Kind of victimized. Uh, around a lot of mean people. Yeah. Yeah. The sure. theme runs through the whole blooming thing, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right to the very last. These people standing around taking yeah. some sort of... Just... Well... It's not that they're mean, but they're excited about a police standoff. Um, that's that's what they're... That's what gets them interested. Yeah, that's true. Um, Say, in the first paragraph, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> uh, she is described well. Uh, how about you? I see what she wants. What about you? Well, I was, I was feeling good when I was with her. I remember when she um, wanted to have, have sex with me. We were talking in the car, and she actually attempted there mm -hmm. to give me a BJ. Mm -hmm. um, so and I was, I was, I was enjoying it. I was, but that's about. It, it doesn't come out in the dream, but I was, yeah. I was comfortable there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's showing her interest. You're showing an interest in what she's doing, but. Uh, do you want to relate with her? <clears throat> She wants to relate with you in a variety of interesting ways, and she nearly does it, and et cetera. But what about you? <clears throat> no, I don't. I don't. I, I put it off for a day there. Um, it's, it's obviously not going to happen that day. Um, I'm not really in the picture. My, 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 my desires aren't really in the picture. Right, 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 right. Interesting, yeah. yeah. In the second paragraph. Um, a lot of people, they say mean things. I think they've haunted me in my dreams. They say mean things? Yeah. <coughs> but, I, but I tell them. What? What I see what? in their meanness, that they're right. ugly, horrible pe right. people. Bullies. And I'm dark, dumb with it, as you might have noticed. Um... I don't know what to do with yeah, See, what's always... interesting is that uh, while you are not positive in the first paragraph, you are positive in the second. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. I tell them, right, I walk up to each one of them, and I tell them, yeah. by the way, what effect does it have on them? Not really. The scene ends. I, I, I think. I, I think I was gratified in in being able to do that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. In the dream. Yeah. But, um, but the effect it had on them. Not much. Not much. 
it, it was all about me in that one. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you're telling them off for because they're mean and ugly, and uh, it feels good to do so, but uh, it doesn't have much effect. They're going to apparently going to remain being what they are. It doesn't transform them. It doesn't change them. No. Right. right. The same old jerks. Oh, they're everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And now you see the mess all over in the third paragraph? Yeah, um, I, n I have no way of communicating anymore. Yeah. Um, it's, it's just, um, I have to go get help. Um, see, now that you can do what you were doing in the second paragraph. <laughs> right now you need to get help. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay. And um <clears throat> I go back into the school, there's nobody there. I yeah. notice there's a cake yeah. there, and that there's a meeting going on, an important yeah. meeting. So it's difficult to find anybody to get help with. But when I get to the front desk, there are a bunch of kids crowding around the desk mm -hmm. and they're talking to Lou. And um, so I really don't even get to talk to Lou. I, but when I turn around, I see, I see the uh, security officer and uh, so that's some background. Yeah, notice then in that last paragraph, I start giving the information, right? The, and the, then, then there's a, a kind of an interruption, uh, but then I continue to start giving information. Yeah. What's that like? So you're, you're now taught, now you're dealing. You're sharing information that's needed. What's that like? Um, that was relatively easy. That was relatively pro forma, kind of. Um, <coughs> it, it, it wasn't a problem. See, see, you're communicating. Yeah. But you weren't in the <coughs> above paragraph. Not really, no. Right. Or it was ineffective. Yeah. Yeah. So in the th last paragraph, give a grade. How are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm following procedure, so I'm probably doing just fine. Yeah. And you found that easy. The first half of that dream was really, that paragraph is really distressing. Right, that's because true. Because I'm, I'm alone. Yeah, yeah. But then it gets, it, then I get into gear, and well, I even, that, that ex license number exclamation mark was because I remembered the license number on my car, which yeah. I've never been able to remember before. Great, ever. great. And I got it right, I checked. So is this dream a failure or a success? It, it becomes a success. What, what, you're hesitating, aren't you, saying that it's a success? Well, um, yeah, because just going through the routine of having to do a rather mundane job doesn't really feel like a great success to me. Yeah, but nonetheless, you are communicating yeah. to another person. Yeah. And that's not present in the above. That's true. Uh, it's easy. It was easy. Could you put other words on it? Um, finally, something's getting done. Um, uh, people are sympathetic. It it's like people are sympathetic to what I need. And um, 
I don't I don't feel I that, that the anger I'm showing earlier on and the frustration I'm showing earlier on isn't present. Is it there? Say, um, um, I'd like to know again what it's like when you find that it's easy and you're, you're uh, <coughs> finally getting things done and you're a group, people you're there, you're kind of find they're sympathetic to your needs and uh, a couple more words on what that's like. That's pretty rare. I find myself doing a lot of stuff for a lot of other people. But and, not and in this one. Not in this one. So, um, let's see, the last time I did it, I was flying back from New Jersey a week and a half ago, and I, I did about three hours of, of translation on the plane. And it was like, that's kind of how easy it was, that I was, I was into it for my own sake. And then I did a couple more hours afterwards when I got back. Yeah. A few days later. What was that like? Um, well, I've been kind of blocked lately uh, with frustration, and so that was nice. I've been mourning the death of my democracy really bad, and uh, it's really gotten in the way. My mother died recently, oh. in, but I, I don't, she was supposed to die. You know, yeah. This is good. It worked out well. Yeah. Great. It, it didn't make me sad. Yeah. Yeah. Just other things yeah. made yeah. me really sad. Check if you could get in that state again, the one that you're talking about on the airplane, where yeah. you're doing three hours of wood. To, to, uh, what kind of state of mind is that? Well, it's without all that anger. Yeah. And um, yeah. without uh, um, the loneliness that's expressed in the first paragraph. That's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the feeling of um, not being able to manage things that's in the third paragraph. But you're managing things in the fourth? Yeah. Uh, that's why I was wondering what it was like. Um, <coughs> <coughs> Say, if you could get in that state now, would you look forward to it? It's better than the one I'm in right now, yeah. Well, it must be something interesting that you could say about that state other than what you're saying. Well, it's a state that I think um, I'm capable of being in. Yeah, well, that's there, right? Um, like I say, I'm, I'm busy. Um, I've got a lot of doctor's appointments lately. And every, every day seems to be filled with um, minutia and... Uh, yeah, distraction, but not uh, so to be in that state would be um, uh, a real um, so uh, are you the kind of person that gets into Zen? Been trying, yeah. Went to a session, but um, uh, it's been how hard does to that compare in. with uh, states of mind and sessions? Well. There were some good things going on at the last session I went to in November. Um, things got simple. Oh. And, uh, Very much like in the dream. Yeah. I oh. could take care of what basic things I needed to take care of, a little self-care, yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah, but the state of mind that accompanied it, did you like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty satisfying. Clear? Yeah. Oh, open? Try to be, yeah. Yeah. Um, usually oh. when I go up there, I think yeah. there's a bunch of jerks. But this yeah, time, uh, did know. you uh, go see the Roshi when you were in that stage? Quite a few times. I saw three different Roshis. How did you do? We had a good time. And how did they think of you? Uh, with the exception of tension, we, we had... Um, uh, yeah, it was all good. They, they, they seemed to agree with what I was trying to accomplish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're involved in what it was, uh, enlightenment stuff? Is that what they're yeah, into? I, they, yeah, there was, you know, um, I was working through some real shit when I showed up and it got clearer and, and they seemed to want to go with me in that direction. Uh, they seemed to want to go along with it? They were very generous. Yeah. 
They were going along with you. And you were going along with them? Positively. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we'd call that state of mind something, wouldn't we? I'm sorry, I I didn't need to come into this talk all this long. Well, sometimes you, you get in a very unfortunate state and you have to say something good about yourself. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've heard it happen. I got it. Oh, yeah, you do. Sir. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, it's bringing you back to that state of mind in, in the session, <laughs> isn't it? Is that right? Kinship there between the two states? Yeah. Yeah. This is and kind of a business as usual kind of state that I'd like to be in. Yeah. Right. Without, <laughs> without all the distractions. Right. Without all the minutia. Right. Without right. all the. That's what made the airplane ride so good. No distractions. You had to just be there and be just as you are. Yeah. You could be right. It's perfect. Right. So the real question is, why do just why are you paying such a high price for distractions? Because it's undercutting a rather good state of mind. Because I feel like I'm getting taken advantage of a lot. I, I, there are mean people out there, and I'm really tired of it. And everywhere I look, even among my friends, they're mostly assholes these days. They look right through me. They're not polite. And I'm done with it. Yeah. And so I get really pissed off. Yeah, yeah. You're paying a high price for that state. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. While the other one is very positive and where you're going. One keeps you back and the other one is doing what? Yeah. Pointing to a nice future. Say, uh, is it possible that uh, you come from a background where someone took advantage of you? Yes, quite a bit. Hmm. They worked the hell out of me. Yeah. In every way they could. Yeah. My mother was a kleptomaniac. Yeah. Uh, and uh, everything I found, everything I had that was nice, up till the day she couldn't function anymore. Yeah. She would take things from all of us. Take them. Anything yeah. nice. Anything nice. And my father um, once gave me $20 uh, for all the work I did around the house. Yeah. All those years. But that's about it. Yeah. So uh, I kind of thank him for not getting me the power mower, even though we have two acres of lawn, because I probably probably would have hurt myself with it, and that was his excuse. Yeah. But, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, Maybe uh, time to give up the view of the world as like your father. I keep trying. I keep thinking it would be nice just to em embrace what I have. But you're doing it. For a minute there, yeah. Yeah, you're doing it. Your dream is saying you're doing it. Right. Right, you work through the first three paragraphs and now you're doing it. I'm sorry to tell you that. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll work with it. All right. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. There's a state of mind I know I can get to. Yeah, there it is. Even yeah. with the distractions. Right. Yeah. Um, I have a question for you from the peanut gallery myself. <clears throat> what then are the implications for you of what the dream is telling you on how you might deal with the loss of your democracy around you? Well, I, I'm, I'm telling myself I have to get into action. I don't know if that's, that might be part of it. I don't know. That's, that's dealing with all the jerks. Um, part of it might be turning off the talking heads and, and, and just getting, getting focused on what I need to do. Which is um, hard or? Well, no, I think, did I mention to you, like, 
my goal the next couple, there's something I know how to do, which is be in a classroom, creating order and focus. I'm good at that. So I'm going to be doing that. That's kind of, I have this job and they let me do it on a day-by-day -day basis. And you'd like to get back in that state of mind that you were on the airplane or you could then... Yeah, that too. Um, they, go and together. they go together. Yeah. Um, I I don't work around the house anymore. I've, I've got done with that so that I have time. I'm trying to find time, you know. Um, That's it, though. How important is that? Um, To, to create a, to create more time um, for yourself space, space to work in um, yeah um, it keeps fo fo folding in around me but uh, uh, it's pretty important to, uh, uh -huh. to create a space yeah yeah, yeah good what I, I told you this the other day but I'll say again here what I like about how you have constructed what you're good at, which is teaching, making things fun in a classroom, and yet setting boundaries and keeping order. What I like about how you've reconstructed it for you, yourself in retirement is that in the old days, you had to stay in one place with one set of jerks. Yeah. Subbing, you can move around. That's true. And with that one set of jerks, you know, my job depended on it. I couldn't, I couldn't after a while when I lost the Latin, but for, before then I had to really maintain kind of a, a tolerant, uh, hands-off attitude, otherwise I'd lose my students. It kind of, I had to um, compromise a lot. But uh, there's really no room for compromise in, um, in education. No, no place for compromise when you're in that good state. When I'm in that good state, and there's a... <coughs> it's making room for that state and everything. Well, yeah, Which that's... Which is to getting out of the house. Hmm? Getting out of the house. It's a tough one. Yeah, for me. Well, because they were masters. Of repression. Yeah. And distraction. And distraction. Yeah. That hey, that's why they did it. <clears throat> they were afraid what would happen to you if they didn't. Yeah. Yeah, they were control freaks, that's for sure. So let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. <laughs> Okay, but um, I just wanted to say about your story too, about your classroom that you told the other day when you said that there, there's sometimes six people or very few, a handful that makes learning impossible for everyone. Mm -hmm. It seems like you are empowering those people and bringing them to see those bullies that are functioning to cut off their learning. That's right. And in so doing, you are yourself establishing a kind of democracy where these people who mm -hmm. usually are cut off will gain a voice and, and be able to see. You mean the right? 26 other kids? The 26 other kids, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's so important. I've had classes, I had classes at Golden West, man. You can have one or two rotten apples and man, they they turn the class, They nothing yeah. good can go on. Very difficult to get anything good. And for you to turn those people in your in that those classes around, mm -hmm. what it means, doesn't that, what does that foretell for them for the future? It's like a providential. You're bringing them to see that their learning can take place. What is that going to do to them, for them? Yeah. Don't you think? That's what, that's, that is my agenda. Mm -hmm. I say I have an agenda. Mm -hmm. That is, that has been my agenda and it's been fun so you're Exploring like you that. are fighting for the democracy, right? I mean, in a way, uh, but it's mm -hmm. a it's mm -hmm. also an excellent 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 <laughs> It's actually like an aristocracy. Okay. Uh, 
where yeah. the excellence of those students yeah. will be allowed to flourish, right? Mm -hmm. You are showing them. They'll be able to walk out of that classroom. You told me that, or you told us, that even in another class, they could see those guys functioning in the same yeah. way. Uh -huh. And then it, they're no longer blocked themselves, right? Mm -hmm. So it seems to me that you're giving them the tools for their whole future education, right? Bringing about an excellence for them. Yeah. So you yourself are like a warrior for the democracy on, yeah. the, on the highest level. That's right. Thank you. That is. Yeah. That is. Is Quite it true. likely that that uh, very uh, justice in yourself and modeling for others and mm -hmm. the state of mind you're in as you do it might, in fact, piss off the very jerks around you? Um, I'm sure that there are stories being told. They go home and say they had a horrible substitute, don't ever, you know, and, and the mom calls the principal and that's it or something. But so far, I'm getting... I'm, I had to I had to cut the calls off this week. It wasn't working. Uh, I had probate shit up the Awazu, and I got it done. But um, uh, I'll get my money back finally. Um, but uh, so do you care? Uh, but I I think I think I'll be back in it next week. Mm. Yeah, but it, but those other good guys are going to go home. It would seem like and say <clears throat> we had a really great sub I'm seeing I can get their parents should even see a change in them right and in their work and in their grades and boy. well in their, in their self worth is what I'm trying to yeah sure yeah mm. and that's the that's higher than any of the other things I just mentioned that they should get a sense of their self worth yeah, I think this second paragraph is telling me that maybe I could pull the reins back a little and I don't have to be yeah. so intense. Right, right. But right. That, that I see who they are, what they are, and yeah. that they need to be dealt with. That's right. Yeah. See, there are two ways of dealing with one, someone like that, right? Confront them and go beyond them. That's, I have a speech that, go, that tells them why they're acting that way. See, that's it going beyond them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's letting them see there is another side, there's something else they could be doing, that's right. rather than their single model. Right. And, and, and I tell them it's not their fault, that they that's have right. to do that in yeah. order to keep learning from happening. Yeah. That's the important part, see, that's yeah. a... That's a See, now the whole class is getting out. Mm -hmm. And the interesting yeah. thing about that is you don't know how it's going to mature in their souls. Oh, absolutely. Maybe not this class, the next class, or the next class. They're going to wake up <laughs> with that kind of teaching I in the background. So. I would think so. Because right. they just don't have, a, they don't have a way of seeing, and Dave's helping them yeah. to get that. Yeah. I, I get it with my nephews. And one of my nephews said, oh, that's me. In see, class. see, that's I'm, I'm that guy. You're bringing seeing about. Yeah, that's okay. pretty good stuff. Well, based on my career, yeah. Yeah, my plus my the, career too. Yeah. yeah. Plus <laughs> the fact that you could pre you tell them how to like you you point out the stages the bully or whatever the learning blockers are going through. Yeah. And then and then this didn't you get the report back that now the students who are watching that. Can, can go into another class and, and see that same. Well, I, thing. I sometimes if it, if it's if I'm not if the kid's not crying already, um, I um, I ask you know does any does he ever do this in any other class? Uh -huh. And and somebody else say, he does it in every class, Mr. Go. You know um, he's that guy. And yep. and yep. if the kid's still not crying, we continue talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it is it is confrontational. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Well, thank you. My thank pleasure. Thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure, indeed. Worthwhile? Yeah. Very much. How come no. dreams are, how come dreams yeah, are worthwhile? Hmm. You capture a dynamic you don't really see. Right. What yeah. kind of a universe yeah. must we be in? I know. Hmm. Yeah, again. Right. What did you it's, say? Yeah. It's what kind of like you described last be? night, that if there's vitality, there must be a, a direction. And if there's a direction, it must be providential. That's right. I'm going to watch that. But the skill in which 
Dream Master manages to communicate to you is just incredible. Isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you sir. Right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Pierre. Pleasure. Yeah, you, Dave, you wanted some help lifting all this stuff up and Fun. It back you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the other thing. If I'm allowed to, I'm going to haul it over to Jesus' right house tomorrow. Thank you. I don't know. Right ho. Yeah. You left what me was a message, the I think, yes, so I'll no, respond. Oh. <laughs> um, is it okay if we... Well, maybe this is going to go here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.